Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door. And I'm not at the door of my house in the Appalachian Mountains today, but I am at the door of my 2019 Chevy cargo van that I converted into a camper to go visit more habitats and do some more videos. You know, I always say that my channel is about things that you're gonna see, well, just outside your door. When you walk outside, what will you see? What will you find? And here today, my wife actually found a lizard right next to our picnic table, 50 yards within sight of the ocean. And I was fascinated by it, and I put out some stuff on my Facebook groups for South Carolina, North Carolina wildlife, and I found out what I'm looking at is the Carolina anole, anole Carolina. It's a native to this part of the United States, don't think we have them in the Appalachian Mountains. And it's always fun for me to go to a new environment, a new habitat, and find a new creature. And this guy was so cool. Tiny, tiny, tiny. I got down on my belly. I did some photography with him. I picked him up. And of course, like I always do, I released him exactly back where I found him, which was right next to our picnic table. So stay tuned and learn some things about this fantastic little green anole. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're going to find. So no kidding, I found them right here. And so I have to show you the habitat I found this little lizard in. And he was right at the base and he was literally found by my wife on this chair right behind me. So the green anole is a native to this area. It's a lizard, not a salamander. Dry, scaly skin. You can see an eardrum on the close-ups. And they're just really, really cool. This one was tiny, tiny, tiny. And so it must have been a newborn, certainly this year, if not just late here in the summer. And part of this intriguing habitat for me is you can see that we're in sight of the ocean. This lizard is living 50, literally 50 yards from the ocean in a beachfront habitat. We're surrounded here in this campground with uh, mowed grasses, and here he is. Anoles are really cool too because they're great climbers. And these anoles can live in the grass, but they can also climb trees. How do they do it? By these amazing feet. You can see the spread on these toes on the feet of this anole and each foot has tiny pads on it that are made up of millions of microscopic fibers that let it attach to almost anything. And he was actually climbing up the plastic here of this uh, aquarium. They can climb even glass. I always carry this with me wherever I go in case I find something. I can temporarily put it in while I identify it, take some photographs, find out what I'm looking at, and of course, I'm really careful and it's very important to release these guys back into the environment in the exact place that you found them. Green anoles here will feed on insects and sometimes each other if they come across a smaller one. Amphipods, isopods, the spiders, worms, pretty much any small invertebrate that they can find and swallow, they're going to eat it. These guys were sometimes called chameleons, and in fact sold in pet stores as chameleons, but they're really not chameleons. Chameleons is a species uh, in, in Africa. These guys, however, like chameleons, which got their name, can change their color very rapidly. And in these photos and videos that I took of this guy, you may see him changing his color from a brown, where I first found him, to a green when he gets on the green background. And they can do that in just a few minutes. I was very, very careful in handling this guy because these lizards, like some other lizards and many salamander species, one of the things they'll do to avoid predation is they'll actually shed their tail. They can on mental hormonal command, release that tail, it'll break off and squiggle and, and move. So literally, the tail can fall off the, the predator is attracted by the movement of the tail and the organism escapes. It's not without cost, however. There's a great physiological energy cost 
and with winter coming, that sometimes is irrecoverable. It's a very uh, expensive price to pay for your life, but it's an adaptation that has evolved apparently because it works. I really had so much fun looking at this guy, learning about him. I love learning about new things and I hope you enjoy learning about new things in my YouTube videos. And this guy was just so fun to photograph. I literally got down on my belly and got on his level in the grass and let him do his thing. And it was so cool to zoom in on him and watch him. And it just kind of feels, when I zoom in, it's almost like a prehistoric dinosaur I'm looking at. And then I zoom out, and it's this tiny, tiny organism. I put my finger in several shots so you can see how big he was compared to my fingernail. This is one of the smallest lizards I think I've ever seen or ever found. So I hope you enjoyed watching this episode of Nature at Your Door. If you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel and give me a like. And I love hearing from my viewers and hearing about your experiences with the animals I see. And I'm also always available to answer any questions you have, either about my video or any other nature subject that you think I might be able to answer. So thanks for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door. See you next time.